joining. Let me know where you're watching from and what you're doing. Um, thanks for joining. I'm just going to be talking like I do every week about kind of some of the stories that I wrote for National Review and um, the, uh, you know, allow you guys to, if you want, ask some questions about it. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's about it. Um, I'm going to wait for a minute to kind of get started here. Um, but, yeah. yeah. Tell some good news. Oops. No, that's not easy right now. Things are, the election's been crazy, but most of the stuff I'm talking about right now is not going to be election rate related. It's going to be about the things that I've been writing about this week, which have not been election related. Um, well, except for the, you know, the one that I wrote about the the feminist jeweler designing the, um, the, the necklace that looks like a the bottom of a woman with the gems on the vagina. That's the only the, uh, which, you know, you can see that in National Review. I'm not gonna be talking about that one today. Really not much to be said about that. But um, I'm gonna talk more about, you know, these are all like cultural sensitivity um, and college campus types of things. Um, I wrote one this week, we'll get started, about, um, it was at Barnard College. It was hosting a lecture um, this month and it was titled health at the expense of cultural appropriation yoga and zumba so if you have read a lot of the things or any of the things i've written before i have talked about how people have been accusing um or saying that yoga is cultural appropriation for a while it's something that i've been seeing for a while i see it all over the place um but zumba is a new one and um i'm assuming and at this Barnard, it was just it was just a title of a, um, a lecture, so I'm not sure exactly what is going to be um, or what happened in the um, in the lecture. But I'm assuming it's got something to do with the fact that generally Zumba, you listen to um, Latin music while you're jumping around in the gym, and that you know that's cultural appropriation for white people to do. Um, and I, the thing the thing that kind of drove me crazy about this is the title of it. Health at the expense of cultural appropriation, yoga, and Zumba. And I thought the word expense was really interesting because, um, you know, like I kind of feel like whatever music you choose to dance around to and when you work out isn't really coming at the expense of anybody. Um, but telling, making people so afraid that they will maybe be called racist for choosing is to like a certain workout, you know, could come at the expense of their health. And, you know, we live in an, an obese nation. Uh, I think that maybe we should not be discouraging people from working out or making them afraid that what they're going to be um, doing for an exercise is uh, cultural appropriation or racist. Um, and, and, and come on, it's, it's just really, I'm sorry, but I really think it's not that serious. Um, so again, that one's on National Review. It's a, the, a bar, about uh, the Barnard event, how Zumba's cultural appropriation. Again, what about, Me okay, I have a question for Ben Hall. What about Mexican food or Italian food or Chinese food? Yeah, no, I've seen a lot of things about that, actually. I've written about how people say even um, calling ethnic food ethnic is offensive because it's saying that, you know, it, it's different or, you know, what's ethnic food or, you know, you can't, you know, if you're a white person and you're selling Mexican food, that's cultural appropriation. Um, you know, I, even at Oberlin, I don't know if anyone remembers at Oberlin, which is, you know, Lena Dunham's alma mater, students were all my alma mater. People were really upset because the sushi in the uh, school cafeteria was bad. School cafeteria sushi was bad. It was, you know, not made with the right stuff of traditional fine Japanese sushi. And so they were saying that that means it's cultural appropriation because if it was, you know, because it's, we're supposed to, um, we'd be able to meet our student leaders tonight. They are really excited for Liberty Tree NYC. Yeah, I'm going there, I'm speaking there, I'm going there early, and then I have to come back, go to work, but then I'm going to come back. So I'll be there and I'll be able to say hi to everybody when I'm there. Yeah, come to New York tonight, everybody. I'll be there. Uh, Liberty, Liberty Tour. But anyway, so yeah, bad sushi, is, it's, it's cultural appropriation, it's offensive, which unless they were trying to be like sneaky and try to get better food in the cafeteria, then, then I guess I could respect that because, you know, a little sneakiness. You know, I remember how bad cafeteria food is in um, college campuses. But it's bad sushi because it's college, you know, 
cafeteria food. I, it, it, you have food. Kids, are you not remembering that there's people out there that don't have food? And you're acting so upset for no reason. It's ridiculous. So again, any more questions? I will continue to answer some of your questions if I find them appropriate. Um,